Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in the email here. The email is entitled, Question About Nikon D750. This is from Puya. I hope I'm saying that right. I am not the best with um, names, especially when they're not, you know, North American names. <laughs> <laughs> and I try, I try, but I apologize if I don't get it right. Hi, I am a photography enthusiast. Um, oh, and it gives us this website. So if you guys want to check it out, www.puya.site. So that's P-O-U-Y-A dot S-I-T-E. Uh, and I've recently broken my Nikon D7200. So I've been thinking about upgrading to a full frame. What I have in mind is the Nikon D750, but I've heard that a new version of this camera, probably the D760, is about to be released soon, whose sensor may get upgraded to 36 megapixels. So far, I've only shot with the 24 megapixel cameras, and I'm really unsure if more megapixels is really worth it or not. I shoot landscapes, and I almost never print my photos. Since Nikon, Canon, and Sony have all started to go high on megapixels, do you think that 30, uh, 24 megapixels has started to become obsolete, and should I wait for the rumored D60 with 36 megapixel sensor or go straight to the D810? Or do you think that 24 megapixels will stay in the game for the next few years? What Nikon FX do you recommend me to buy after all? Thank you very, very much indeed. Booyah. Thank you for your question. Good question. A lot to digest there, a lot to think about. Um, first of all, D750 is still well worth buying. 24 megapixels is more than most people need, and especially in full frame, that's 24 rich, juicy goodness megapixels. Very good performing, very good dynamic range, very good high ISO. And if you need to extrapolate to a higher print size, in other words, to punch it up, Photoshop does that very well. You can go to 36 megapixels and to most people it will be undetectable, um, especially from RAW. 36 megapixels, I used to think I didn't need that till I shot the D810. And then I had the Nikon D810 in for quite a while and I grew to love that camera. And right now I'm shooting the D850 and it's the same thing. That thing has 46 juicy megapixels and it's awesome. Although it's more than most people need. Although it's a freaking awesome camera. Uh, but the D810 is too. If I had to buy one today right now and funds weren't an issue, I would go to the D810. Well, I guess if funds aren't an issue, I would get a D850. If I was budget con conscious and wanted the best value for my money, probably the D810 as long as I could afford it. If the D810 is out of my price range, which I'm not sure that it is for refurbs and used and whatnot on the pricing... Then the 750 is fine. 24 megapixels is still great. I'd happily shoot a 610 or a 750. The 750 is a better camera for autofocus and build and just it's a, it's a darling of a camera. But the D610 is actually really, really good too and a good value. If I could swing out of all those, if I was you, or I guess if I'm me and what I would choose, right now... I think the best value is to be able to get a refurbed or a used D810. I think you can get them for around a thousand, twelve hundred, maybe you know, in really clean, really great shape, maybe fifteen. I'm thinking. I'll put some links below, but I've seen some really good deals on a D810. That said, the 750 is awesome. I wouldn't tell you not to buy it. No, I don't think 24 megapixels is way out of date or anything. Um, if you're shooting landscapes, you may want more. You may like the D810 that way. It's heavier and bigger camera than the D750. Um, I like them both. Do you think you should wait to the 760? It's going to cost you more money. It's still vaporware. It's only rumored. Um, I would personally get something now, shoot with it, and whatever. If the 760 comes out and it's what your heart wants, you're probably not going to lose a lot selling the 750, especially if you bought it refurbed or used. Then you can upgrade then. Always better to start shooting now in most situ situations, most cases, than to be waiting for something that's not even been announced yet. I don't know about you, but I like to be out shooting. I'm in a unique situation. I'm reviewing cameras all the time. So right now, I'm out shooting with the D850 all the time, <laughs> and I love that thing. But D810, I love that too. D750, great camera too. Don't hold back if that's what you want. Go out and get it. And again, if you do want to upgrade later to the 760, maybe it'll have a 36 megapixel sensor. Um, you can do it later. That's my advice. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Go ahead and buy something. Don't wait. Do you agree with me that out of all of them, probably the best value if you can get a good deal is the D810 right now? What would you guys do? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Puya. Always great to hear back from you guys. Let our viewers have you know some other uh, viewpoints. Maybe something I missed or didn't mention, didn't think of, uh, and let him, let's help him make his decision.
Thank you. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.